Well, Mother's Day is over, and these beauties have uh, expired, and they still smell good, as flowers do. This bouquet was a gift from Barton to his mother, and uh, we were about ready to put them in the trash can. And Barton says, oh no, inside this, inside this right here, will be some seeds. Let it dry, and then we'll save the seeds. And so we'll put all like flowers together, all the seeds together, yellows and reds and so forth and so forth. And so I'm drying them. They're in my little greenhouse. And we'll see what kind of seeds we get. Uh, this is something new that we're trying. And we'll see the results. If you uh, buy or if you receive a bouquet of flowers, this may be uh, a very inexpensive way. Uh, my friend always calls it economical. An uh, economical way to get some flower seeds and start your own. Anyhow, I just thought I'd share that with you. This is a test, only a test. Leave it to the professionals. Thank you. Well, this is San Hollow Homestead and thought I'd uh, check in on my kids. Uh, looks like lettuce is about ready to start being trimmed. Um, the uh, celery, awesome. And there's uh, lettuce, butter, something. Wish I could read it. Yeah, butterhead. Butterhead lettuce back there. And then, of course, we've got us some um, Tiffin Mennonite tomatoes. And they look like they're, uh, one of them's uh, over a foot and the other ones are about there. And then we have my brandy wine, which, you know, I'm all about brandy wine. I really like my brandy wine. That's why there's two packs of that. And they're mostly, if you look in there, mostly doubled. See that nice dark stem? Now, what I do is, about every three days, depends on how the heat, you know, it depends on uh, how fast they de dehydrate and dry out. But what I do is I watch the water content and uh, I try to keep it where they have enough water in them. You'll notice over here it's already saturated the water up, so these were kind of dry. And just to give you a little picture here, I got to get those sunflowers planted because I'm running out of greenhouse. Those suckers are pushing three feet. Um, you know, my squashes and all this other goody stuff. There's even some radishes in there. Can you imagine that? I'm growing radishes in a two by two. <laughs> I didn't, I, it's an experiment, but uh, it's coming along pretty good. And we have those sunflowers, and we have Ashley Cucumber Straight 8, and what was the other one? Oh, I don't remember right off. And so over here are the second uh, crop. And those are cherry tomatoes on the front and yellow pear in the back. So this was planted, gosh, almost two weeks after, or week and a half, whatever it was. And so these are much, much later, but they are, you know, with the heat coming, uh, they're starting to grow. And you'll notice that there's a beautiful color, color in the stem. It's just extraordinary. And it does really well. Now, I did use a seed starter um, fertilizer to start with. Uh, this here is, let's see if we can get it over here where we can read it. Banana squash, that's banana squash right there. Mm, yummy, and you know I like that. 
And then we got butternut. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch, 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 bunches. Lots of bunches of butternut. And then this is where I go after they start getting up and they, they look like they're going to stagnate. You know, I don't let my plants get uh, stringy. I, I start them with lights and uh, those lights uh, inside the house will give it the, uh, you know, what it needs to get to growing. Uh, but once they get up enough and I can get them into this greenhouse, I'll do that. And um, I do have a, a heater and I do have an outlet with a cord. So I can put my cord in here and my heater and I can keep it going and all that. But uh, some folks won't use miracle Grow because they think it's taboo, I guess. But to me, I know it's a man-made chemical made out of of old uh, car parts probably I don't know all I know is it works and uh, yeah so I, I do add uh, accordingly um, and uh, it does show I mean it's doing pretty good now you'll notice there's a tremendous amount of blossoms now and those blossoms are telling me that they really want to get out there in the sun and with the light rains we've had, reasonably light wind rains, now the winds have not been impressing me. But uh, look at that flower. Ain't that pretty? Yep. Now I have more room in my greenhouse. I just haven't organized it. And the truth of it is, I'm kind of just storing stuff in here until I can get the big greenhouse going. And uh, then we're gonna, we're gonna go crazy. We're gonna go crazy. We are really excited about the greenhouse. That's coming up in the future. We've got a few projects to do before we get there. But this is the status of my plants. There's not a lot. There's almost too much. <laughs> and uh, I want to get them into the garden so they can do their thing. And I'll probably start with the tomatoes because that's my world. I'm a Mr. Tomato Man, and then I'll set up my vertical uh, cattle uh, uh, panels to get these uh, squash going. And once I get the, you know, these uh, going, then um, hopefully by that time Barton and I'll have a raised bed. And at the time we get the raised bed going, then we can uh, move these out and don't know whether or not I have to transplant these babies into something bigger. Almost looks like I need to. What do you think? Do I need to take these and transplant these? They're pretty busy. I think there's a lot of seed in there, so. Do you think I need to transplant those? Kind of looks uh, a little too busy, doesn't it? Yeah. And back here, same, same. I could split them up and and there would be quite a few. They're doing real good. I mean, considering that they got frost uh, frozen out here. I haven't I haven't trimmed off the dead leaves yet. Shame on me. Been spending all my time in the garden on the John Deere. So anyhow, got to end this for you. And uh, so uh, we will um, talk at you later. And this is just a little greenhouse update. Woo! from San Hal Homestead. Bye now.